Hey guys, Sean here and welcome to the F1 Word powered by PlanetF1.com. Now earlier this year it was announced that Adrian Newey would be leaving Red Bull after 19 years with the team and that news naturally set the rumour mill into overdrive with Newey being linked with a move to several teams up and down the grid. Newey revealed earlier this year that he would officially stop working with Red Bull next March and outlined his new responsibilities at races since his departure was announced, revealing that he advises drivers Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez as well as contributing to the team's strategy decisions and meeting prospective RB17 customers. However, he won't be doing that for too much longer because after much speculation, it has now been made official that he will be joining Aston Martin, a team he's been heavily linked to in recent weeks and months from next season. So in this video, we thought we'd take a look at five reasons why the highly decorated designer's move to Aston Martin makes so much sense. Let's start by getting the elephant in the room out of the way, the money. Whilst Adrian Newey's decision is unlikely to be entirely financially motivated, a big paycheck is always going to turn anyone's head and will absolutely have been a factor when it came to making a call on his future. So it has been reported first by the BBC that Newey has put pen to paper on a five-year deal with Lawrence Stroll's team and is possibly set to earn up to £30 million a year by way of salary and shares annually once bonuses and add-ons are included. That means, assuming of course the reported figures are accurate, that Newey is set to earn around a whopping £150 million as a result of the deal. That £30 million reported figure would be around double his annual salary with Red Bull Racing 2 by the way. Again, it may not have been the deciding factor but that's a huge pay rise. But one of the other major reasons this all makes a lot of sense is the huge amount of investment that has been going on at the Silverson team over the last few years and indeed the huge ambition Lawrence Stroll has for the future. The team has already completed several steps of its Silverson headquarters development including construction of the new AMR Technology Centre which opened in July last year and will be home to its R&D commercial and IT departments as well as engineers. The investment doesn't end there though with a new simulator in the works and a brand new state-of-the-art wind tunnel has begun the process of being commissioned ahead of entering full use over the winter. So exciting times ahead for the team but the idea of going from working with the oldest wind tunnel a facility described by Christian Horner last year as a Cold War relic albeit a heavily upgraded one to working with a brand new fancy state-of-the-art tunnel ahead of the design of the 2026 car will surely also excite Newey. On top of all that investment, Lawrence Stroll has made no secret of the fact that he wants to take Aston Martin to the very top of Formula 1 and win championships in the coming years, a target Newey has proven many times throughout his career that he is more than capable of helping teams hit, having won titles with Williams, McLaren and Red Bull. It is an exciting challenge for the designer to, potentially at least, end his career with. And taking on the challenge of turning Aston Martin into title winners, beating Red Bull, Mercedes, Ferrari and McLaren along the way, would surely further cement his legacy in F1 and across the wider sporting world. Part of all of that, but worthy of its own bullet point, is control. Following the announcement of his impending departure from Red Bull, Ferrari were almost immediately listed as the favourite to land Newey, someone they have chased many times over the years. However, they've missed out once again, and although there have been reports of the team wanting to avoid entering into a bidding war to secure the designer's services, there is reportedly another reason. Now, according to Italian publication Autosprint, Ferrari were happy to match whatever salary demands Newey made as they tried to do whatever it took to secure his signature, but then he asked for decision-making powers that are the prerogative of the team principal, and Frederick Vasseur apparently said no, as Newey wanted the right of a veto on the hiring of new engineers, the allocation of roles, and the acceptance of technical partnerships. That hasn't been officially revealed as a reason and may never be, but Vasseur could have dropped a hint about his stance when he spoke to the media, including PlanetF1.com at the Hungarian Grand Prix in July, where he said, quote, I always push to explain that individuals are less important than the group, and it is true when you are signing someone, and it is when you are losing someone. The stability of the group is important, and that the other people are working very well together. It would make a lot of sense for someone of Newey's calibre to demand full control when it comes to decision-making powers to be given the power he needs to fully function, and perhaps that's something he was offered assurances of when negotiating with Aston Martin. 
On the subject of Ferrari, it has been widely rumoured that Newey's preference was always to remain in the UK and perhaps unsurprisingly, a switch to the Scuderia would likely have meant relocating to Maranello in Italy. Although it is 2024 and so flexible remote working opportunities may have been available. That sounds like a line from a job posting on LinkedIn, doesn't it? But anyway, but with Aston Martin being based at Silverstone, relocation is not something you'll have to worry about anytime soon, if at all. Next up, a move to Aston Martin also means Adrian Newell will get to reunite with a few familiar faces. Dan Fallows was a key figure within Red Bull for 15 years and stepped up to become head of aerodynamics in 2014, which resulted in him working closely with Newey before eventually making a switch to Aston Martin ahead of the 2022 season. But the big reunion is surely the return to working with Honda in a full-time capacity. The Japanese manufacturer, of course, will provide Aston Martin with power units from the start of the new regulations in 2026. With Newey having worked with them in recent years at Red Bull, a partnership which resulted in championship title winning success, that experience will likely help to accelerate their integration. A new set of regulations offers up a lot of uncertainty, and if you pair that with having to work with a new engine supplier, there are a lot of unknowns to deal with. However, the knowledge Newey has of working with Honda could have a massive impact on that and those ambitions Lawrence Stroll has of title challenges, as we mentioned earlier in the video. It is also worth a mention that although his design experience in general will be a huge addition to the team, his experience designing a car in conjunction with a works engine supplier, as he did at the start of a new round of technical regulations at McLaren with Mercedes and Red Bull with Honda, for example, could prove invaluable to Aston Martin and Honda. And the final point we've picked out is the Alonso factor. For starters, the idea of working with a driver like Fernando Alonso will be a huge draw for more or less any engineer, designer, team boss, virtually anyone in F1. So that in itself is a huge opportunity. After all, he is a double world champion, and although 2024 has been a more difficult year, the Spaniard proved last season that if you give him a car capable of challenging, he will get the most out of it and deliver some impressive drives and strong results. He is clearly still capable of operating on an extremely high level. Now, Adrian Newey has worked with some huge names in F1, including the likes of Nigel Mansell, Alain Prost, Damon Hill, Jacques Villeneuve, Mika Hacken and Sebastian Vettel and Max Verstappen, who have all driven his cars to world championship victory. However, last year, Adrian Newey revealed to the Beyond the Grid podcast that there were two drivers he regretted not working with across his years in Formula One. One of those was Lewis Hamilton, something he could have rectified had he chosen Ferrari as his next destination. But the other was Fernando Alonso. By signing with Aston Martin for the future, Newey gets to scratch that itch. As does Alonso, by the way, who said last year that Newey was a legend of the sport who he wished he'd get to work with one day. Well, that day is not too far away now. Having a driver who is as good as Alonso is at extracting the maximum performance from any F1 car will be a huge benefit to Newey. His feedback and experience will be invaluable and that can surely only stand Aston Martin in good stead. Equally, having a car designed by Newey as part of a strong team of designers and engineers should give Alonso everything he needs to push for that elusive third world championship title. That is assuming, of course, that he stays beyond the end of his current deal. That said, if Alonso has a car capable of challenging for wins and maybe even world championships, he may well stick around to go for that third, but that is a conversation for another day. Snapping up Adrian Newey is a massive coup for Aston Martin, given his vast experience with a career that has run for more than 40 years in Formula One alone, a reputation for getting the jump on rivals at the start of a brand new set of technical regulations, his huge success over the years, those 13 Drivers World Championship titles and 12 Constructors World Championship titles are absolutely no fluke, as well as being known as one of the greatest F1 designers, if not the greatest F1 designer of all time. But let's not get into that argument today. As good as Adrian Newey, Fernando Alonso and many others within Aston Martin are though, success is never a guarantee. So although there are huge ambitions at the Silverstone-based team and massive investments in its future, it could still all come to nothing, especially in a field that is getting more and more competitive and the uncertainty a new set of regulations inevitably brings. But although success is never guaranteed, Aston Martin and Lawrence Stroll are putting all the pieces in place to give them the best possible shot at hitting those targets and ambitions. And whatever happens as a result, they're in a great place behind the scenes and the future looks incredibly bright. As already mentioned in this video, some very exciting times ahead for Aston Martin. So those are just five reasons we've picked out for why Adrian Newey's Aston Martin move makes a lot of sense. But what do you think? 
Are there any other reasons you believe are well worth a mention? And what do you make of Newey's decision to join the Silverstone-based team? You can let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And to catch up on the latest Formula 1 news and reaction, head on over to planetf1.com. Now, we will be back on Thursday with the Azerbaijan Grand Prix preview. But in the meantime, if you did enjoy this one, then please do leave a like to help the channel in its never-ending battle with the YouTube algorithm. And also consider subscribing so you don't miss any future videos or live streams. But as ever, thank you for watching. I've been Sean. This has been the F1 Word. And until next time, goodbye.